Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. And I'd like to say thank you for the super thanks to those that did contribute to a coffee, a sandwich, and so forth. I appreciate it. That is so kind of you. Today, I would like to do a spread on Kate Moss. Kate Moss is very irritated with Amber Heard for bringing her into this dirty court battle and bringing into the love romance of being some kind of shoved down the stairway, thinking about her from her previous relationship with Johnny Depp, which opens the door for Kate Moss to come in and speak against her. So let's get some energy on Kate Moss' feelings on the situation. Kate Moss's feelings on the situation. Okay, I will take the ones that just flipped, and I have quite a few, and then I will pull those accordingly primary situation she feels that amber is trying to be controlling and build up a situation the emperor is about being a builder uh trying to find respect so she's trying to be a respectful leader uh amber is and building it up trying to build up her case however uh it is not going to go over well with the nine of cups in reverse the nine of cups represents not feeling fulfilled uh it is definitely feeling uh something is missing she's missing key elements of her testimony and that there's no in, there there's no insight uh and that she is feeling very dissatisfied in the situation and that amber is really greedy who just is, was after luxury and comforts that uh jd had to offer her that she really was not about love she was just trying to build up such situation for her own benefit, basically, in essence, uh, that she lost out on all the comforts that JD had to offer her by being the way she is. And so that there's really kind of no end in sight with her uh, due to her dissatisfaction. And she is feeling very dissatisfied with bringing her in, not happy about her building up the situation and bringing her in, not happy. She does not want to give her any charity. She does not want to help her out whatsoever. She's going to help out JD if, JD if she is called to do so. She, she doesn't want to help out Amber, that's for sure. So there's no give and take. She has nothing to give Amber to help her out. She's not willing to support the narrative that she is painting. Under the surface, she is trying to find truth, trying to find temperance, calm cool collected energy staying balanced within herself trying not to get too sucked into it i would say this is someone who's taking the middle ground so she's trying to take the middle ground and not get involved for the time being that is hidden the next position she sees no silver lining in the situation that is in the past situation that is leading into the current situation uh there was no silver lining uh, it is a five in reverse, so there is no conflicts going on, but there is no silver lining. There's no, no one's going to win in this situation. Leading into it is conflict. She created a conflict with, with her, and she didn't want to be drawn into it. So now she's got this competition and conflict. She probably always felt that Amber was very uh, competitive with her, even though she wasn't in the picture and as a lover. So there's that. And then the next situation, the feelings in the situation is bringing her into the court battle uh, because the Ace of Pentacles would be bringing her in. It's something new, an aha moment. It is a spark, a spark of bringing her in because it is energy. A pentacle is energy. So it's a spark of possibly having to pull her into the situation. Next position uh, is the eighth position, which is the... Um, the eighth position is the outside influences. Outside influences, she's lying. This is the liar card. This is the veil card. She's veiling truth. She's lying. Although she might feel that, that Amber might want to tell the truth, but she's not telling the full truth. So there are some truths to the situation, but not in its entirety. With the seven of swords, there are two swords laying on the ground. That is the truth. She is holding on to the five swords remaining that are all lies. So it's part truth, part lies. That is the outside influences. The ninth position is the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears is she's hoping that um, Amber tanks, that she does not become the rising phoenix, that she loses her luster with the queen of wands in reverse. With the queen of wands in reverse, this is someone who's very jealous, angry, 
demanding, selfish, and suffering from a lot of aggressive nature. She's a very aggressive person trying to, trying to create more drama. She doesn't feel that Amber is a leader. She does not inspire others. She does not have the ability to uh, have courage in adversity. Uh, that she's very fiery and strong and gets to the point of being very toxic and abusive. Uh, she has no courage. She is a weak individual who lacks determination in being an honest individual and telling the truth. She's a liar. The wand is down. That is lying. That is lack of communication. They do not have communication. They don't even like each other. There's no excitement for each other. She feels nothing for her. The final outcome, there is two of cups in reverse. She's not in love with Johnny, nor does she want communication or have anything going on with Amber. They broke up. They they are not together. They haven't been together for a long time. So why bring her into the picture when it was a long time ago? So she's kind of irritated that she drew her into this court battle that she, she doesn't belong in. So she's just really picking at, you know, at anything she can find. So she sees it. They're not there. There's no duality here. There's no partnership going on here whatsoever. She's not going to partner up with, with Amber and support her narrative. She is not going to the next cards I'm going to pull. I'm going to clarify that two of cups in reverse. She knows that Amber's out for winning. She just, she's doing it to try and win. And she's not leveling up. She's not willing to go along with rules and, and order and, and and doing the right thing. She's leveling down. She's doing leveling down in order to win. And she does not belong in this court case with the two of, pen, two of cups in reverse. They've been broken up for a long time. Why bring me into this situation I had nothing to do with? So she's very unhappy with her. The bottom of the deck, she sees her as the devil energy. It is also the breakup card. They broke up a long time ago. Once again, they're no longer enmeshed together. They're no longer, um, you know, they're no longer partnered up together. They're not chained to each other. There's no ongoing issue anymore. That was a long time ago. Why bring it up? So she's not happy that she brought her into this situation once again. And she feels that um, Amber is quite possibly a juggling act. She's trying to juggle to see where she can win. It is trying to find balance, trying to juggle. However, we have here the five of pentacles in reverse. She feels that she is going to suffer from poverty and illness and loss. And try, she's going to have to pick herself up. The fights are over. There is no battle with her. According to Kate Moss, there is no battle. Why bring me into a conflict that I have no part in? I'm not going to suffer from any poverty and loss due to you. So this is a situation where the person still suffers, but is anxiety and having to find a new job, find something new to do with themselves. Why don't you find something better to do with yourself? Because my life is balanced. I don't need you to give it turmoil and flip my, flip my life upside down and create this conflict. Uh, also, what can I say about this two of pentacles in reverse is... Basically, it is a loss of balance. It is disorganized, overwhelming, and she cannot commit. She is not going to commit to helping her to balance out her narrative so that she can have this, this equilibrium situation. She's not going to give her that. She's not going to give her anything to make her feel balanced, uh, grounded. Uh, she's not going to participate. But she's trying to stay in a peaceful situation with that five in reverse, which is lack of conflict. She doesn't want to fight with her. She doesn't want to even be a part of it, period, is what it's looking like. She just does, leave me out of this. Just leave me out is what I'm really feeling with this. So she's quite irritated that she got drawn into this ugly court battle. Let's get to the next position here with the Lenormand. Find out what Lenormand has to say. Kate Moss. Kate Moss on Amber Heard. What we have here, he is the main focal point in the situation. That would be Johnny Depp with the stars. She believes that he will heal, he will recover, and there is hope for Johnny. She's hoping for Johnny. Johnny will do better. Johnny will heal. There is hope. And that is the conversation card. They are having small chit-chat conversation about him rooting and growing. 
and improving. And we have here the loyalty. She is loyal to Johnny Depp, not to Amber Heard. So he is the main signifier here. He's going to heal. They have short conversations about his growth and how he's going to have this healing energy with all the support of the dog, which is loyalty. That represents loyalty. So she sees him winning this situation uh, that Amber is not going to get the support, even though she's trying to pull people into this court battle. Uh, looking for support for herself, it's not going to work. So she is rejecting her in essence. Let's get some more. Her rejecting Amber, her rejecting Amber. Kate Moss rejecting Amber. Kate Moss rejecting Amber. Kate Moss rejecting Amber. Yep, she is turning her back to her. She's not going to let her build up her case on her behalf. She's turning her back. She's going to let her burn up in smoke and flames and let her light the path of fire. This is kind of like the narcissist who scorches the earth behind them. Let her scorch the earth behind him because she's really just scorching herself. Uh, the emperor in reverse is considered very toxic. They're not builders. They cannot build anything. She will not build up this case based on me. I refuse. I turn my back to her. She's going to turn her back. She's not going to let her build and strengthen her case using her name. Let's let this go up and smoke. So, yes, yeah, not happy. <laughs> not happy. And then we have here the Four of Swords. She did feel anxiety. She feels like more might come. So this is a very anxiety position. Don't draw attention to the weaknesses of others. So she's trying to garner and strengthen her case based on the weaknesses of previous relationships and trying to build up based on that, but she's not going to let it happen. Here, you're, you're imprisoning the person. You're putting them in the four of swords, which is like a coffin almost. She's not going to let her do it. Sorry, you can feel the anxiety. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you build your case based on me. So that's not going to happen. She's not going to let. She's wants, she wants Amber to feel the anxiety, waiting for the next explosion to happen and uh, wondering where it's going to come from. She's not going to support her in this. She's not going to... Uh, let her good reputation of what she currently has right now, which is here, which is a respected person, nor also respected leader of, of JD, and, and reversing him. She has tried to destroy him. He's respected. He's loved. He's respected for his arts and crafts, the things that he can put out there, and she's trying to destroy him. So it can be read that way as also. So, yeah, she doesn't have any respect for Amber. She's really irritated. Let's clarify that Four of Swords. What's she going to do? Will she go to court? Will she hit the stand at all, any time? I don't think she can at this point because I think they've done everything. So we have here the world. She sees that it's hap it is happening in front of the world. And so with the world card, she feels that Johnny will level up. He will get his success. He will get fulfillment. Harmony will be restored for Johnny. And also she recognizes the suffering of other people. She recognizes that she created a lot of suffering for JD and that, you know, um, Kate Moss has been through the fool's path. She's been through a lot in life. She's been through, she's an old, she is in her fifties. She's been through the fool's path. She's been through a lot of paths in life. She can recognize when someone else is trying to hurt someone else for their benefit. So, and that she is trying to level up and find success. You know, Amber's trying to find success for herself in front of the world, trying to take down Johnny. But really what it's going to do, in, in essence, is create nothing but anxiety and always looking for the next explosion for herself. She is just one. She is basically, the way I'm feeling about this, is she's like a hard-boiled egg in a microwave. You never know when she's going to explode. You just don't know when she's going to blow her steam. And that is kind of, she's just very unstable. But Kate can recognize the suffering of others because she's been through that fool's path in life. She's mature enough to recognize the suffering of other people. She's mature enough to recognize that she's trying to take a man who has re earned respect in his field and reverse him. So she sees it for exactly for what it is. Yes, it is. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. And thanks again for watching. Bye, you guys.